Alexa, lights on. Nice. All right, English language GCSE. But before I get into this, if you're new to the channel, basically I got all nines at GCSE. So I'm making videos on how I did that and sort of other motivational tips or study tips or just things to help you better yourself. For all of the GCSE ones, there's a playlist up there. To go click on that, I've done maths and science so far, but there's probably more by now. So, there. Okay, English language GCSE was almost certainly my weakest subject. In one of my mocks, I was a few marks off a of grade four, which, I mean, it's not awful, it's a still a pass, but I wanted to do better. So basically, this video is gonna be showing you what I did to get that grade nine, and hopefully it will help you to do the same. So, let's go. All right, so the first step, and arguably the most important step, is get started. So many people are stuck in the mindset that English language, ah, it's fine, it's not really something you can revise. Ah, I'm not gonna do it. I was one of those people before that mock. That mock changed my outlook on everything. I realized I actually had to put in the work because, unlike any other skill, it requires practice for success. So you make the decision to get started. You plan out what you're gonna do, and then you do it. This is what I did. Paper one, paper two, funnily enough. Section A, section B, five questions in each. I split those questions or papers up into more manageable chunks that I'd spread throughout the course of about two weeks. So on one day, I do a question one and a question two. On another day, a question three, another day, a question four, another day, a question five. I do that for the paper one on one week, and then a paper two on another week and I do that on rotation. It just means you're not faced with the entire paper and you're a bit more motivated to do it. Uh, makes sense. So initially, all you're doing is doing those questions. Don't worry about time, don't worry about any of that, because at this stage, all you want to be doing is getting it right, or writing the right stuff. Which is why, after you've written it, you've got to bring it into your teachers, or tutors, whatever you have, and get them to give you feedback on it. Which brings us to our second step. Adapt. So, the second step. Most people, their revision consists of practicing. Do they do anything with that practice? No. The most important aspect of practice is feedback. If you don't know what you're getting wrong, or don't know what you're doing wrong, how is that helping? You may be writing out loads of questions, questions if they're all wrong you see the problem so you take your papers or your questions into a teacher in class or into a tutor whatever you have and you get them to market you get them to give you feedback and then you adapt so you take that feedback and you think about how you can implement that into the questions what I do is I literally just rewrite the same question, implementing all of those changes that they recommend. Or if it's a longer answer question and I don't really want to write it all again, I'll just sit there for 10-15 minutes and think about how I could implement those changes. Because that conscious thought about it helps reframe your mind into writing it with those changes next time. If that makes sense. Basically, you're consciously telling yourself that the next time you write a similar essay, you're going to implement those changes. Step three. Timings. Okay, this step involves improving your ability to manage time in the exam and doing questions. Start by doing exactly what you were doing before, but with each question, start a timer and aim to do it in that time. If you can't, just note down the time it took. Then, again, bring it in for feedback, but this time with the aim of eliminating any unnecessary content so that you can reduce the amount that you are writing while still attaining all of the marks. Repeat this process until eventually you are at a point where you can write effective essays that score good marks in less time. Once you're at a decent level, start doing full papers. Now, I know it is boring and you don't want to do it, but even if it's once or twice a month, you're still getting that practice. So do the paper, see how long it takes you, and then then start to look for what order doing the questions in works best for you. Stick with that. Practice it and make sure you're super effective in doing so. Throughout this stage, you can still also be getting feedback on how you can improve your content and how you can improve your way of writing. It's not like one or the other. You're kind of doing both at the same time. And also try and get a gauge of the structure that you're going to write, especially for the long answer questions. Ask your teachers what structure they think enables you to hit all of the marks and write it like that. Like, if they are telling you that that's a way of getting all of the marks, do it. Otherwise, you're not going to get all the marks and you're going to be annoyed. Step four on the final step step is plan the exam. What I mean by this is in the last run to the exam, like the last month or two, you'll sort of have a gauge of the structure that works best for you, what order to do the questions in, how you're going to write each answer. So literally write it all down. Plan exactly what you're going to do when you get into the exam. Like, are you going to start with question five? Are you going to start with question three? How are you going to lay out question five? How are you going to lay out question three? And note down every single thing that you're going to do and every single thing that you've learned works for you so that you remember to do it in the exam to get the most marks you possibly can. What I did is I'd make a poster and it would have all of the timings and in those timings, everything that I needed to do within that time frame. And then I'd practice that so that once I got into the exam, I was confident that I knew exactly what to do how I had to do it and by what time I had to do that. That is everything. So here's a summary.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, drop a sub, follow my Instagram for more, links in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.